James Crazy. That's me! Brutal road trip. Gas station burritos plus a van cram with dudes. Nothing like a 90 mile an hour Dutch oven. So you ready to get rolling? Start off by knocking out the stuff that'll rack us up some serious points. Hey everybody, welcome back to James Plays Tony Hawk's Underground 2. I'm just putting it out there right now, as clear as I can. Do not drive 90 miles per hour. That is ridiculous and pointless and dangerous, not just for you, but for other people as well. Uh, we're here in lovely, lovely Boston. That kid is dead. And we're being given a list of objectives right up front here. And then we are going to go skate around the level and try to complete them. This is a lot closer to the mission structure of the first three Tony Hawk games. Uh, the only real difference is we don't have a two minute time limit anymore. At least not in this mode. Come and see me when you're ready to move on. We get to choose a pro skater to join us here as our teammate. I'm going with Bob Burnquist because he's my favorite and for another reason that will become clear soon enough. There we go, everybody. Uh, take it all in. Now, they did a pretty good job of recreating Boston. I can almost smell the garbage. Oh, got him! <laughs> nah, just kidding. Boston's all right. Getting around Boston, that's another story. Let's just say there are way too few cars on the road here. Anyway, in the top left corner, you'll see zero out of a thousand gold points. That doesn't mean that we have to get a thousand gold points. Um, we are going to get a thousand gold points, but that is the maximum available points in this level, and every level. Now, since we are on sick difficulty, we need to get 800 of those in order to move on. If we were on a lower difficulty, we would need fewer. But once again, as I said, we're doing everything. Get ourselves the, the list of objectives here once again, and the point values associated with them. So if you want to take a closer look at something, get some more information, get a little tip, you even get some pictures that show you where the objectives are located. And if that's still not enough for you, there are people located around town who you can talk to who also give you some hints or very explicit instructions. And the fact that they're placed out there around the town is also a hint in itself because they are usually placed where the objective needs to be completed. Now you know that these point values do not add up to anywhere near 800. And we have three other tabs that we cannot access just yet. We need to switch to the pro character, in this case Bob Burnquist. The guest character, who is not on a skateboard ever. And the secret character, who is on a skateboard and they each have goal lists that unlock when you switch to them. So let's go find one of those characters. This guy is beckoning us. Boy, am I thirsty. Hey, why don't you run downstairs and give me a drink? There is our hint to go downstairs to Jeers. Hey, you found me. You want me to help you out? No problem. Here's my tab. There's Jesse James, everybody. Not the cowboy, but the guy from that show he was on. Um, we're not... We're unfortunately not going to be playing as a... Outlaw cowboy f displaced in time. We're going to be playing as this guy from that show. You ever seen a skate park that could do 120 down the freeway? Check this sucker out. First it was 90 miles per hour. Now we're up to 120. Just don't. What kind of message are you trying to send people, Tony? Everybody drive careful and drive safe. All right. How's this sound? I've been dying to bust it on this jacked up scooter I put together. Let me knock out some of your goals and you could tear it up on my RV. So for completing our first objective, we get a text from Tony. And none of the text messages that we're going to be getting in this game are really all that important. It's just an excuse 
to shoehorn in some Motorola promotion there. Get your Motorola flip phone today, everybody. Uh, yeah. So we have Napster. We have the guy from Monster Garage. And we have Motorola flip phones. What did I say about this being a time capsule? And it's still going to get worse. But yeah, um, the dialogue that he offered up here, he suggested that we need to do some things with him on this monstrosity that he's riding around on in order to let that RV ramp loose into the level. And you may recall that is one of the goals that we need to do as Shred. So we won't be able to finish everything with Shred right off the bat. We will have to have to play as this guy sooner or later. But we're going to wait as long as possible because that thing is not very fun to ride on. Also, look at him. He's not very fun to ride on either, I bet. Even in, like, PS2 form, I can tell that is one greasy-looking dude. Moving on. As far away from him as possible. We're over here by the State House, and we have the first of many spat tags. There are five of them in every level, and we need to spray paint over them with our very, very, very good graffiti tag. I will never be sorry about that. Look, I even got the little ears and everything. Hmm. Now let's go ahead and get the first gap of the level. There's a rail up here, high on the side of the rib-off bank. We're going to do a lip trick on it. And we get the rib off lip. And speaking of lip tricks, we've got ourselves two statues that have their heads on them for some reason. Let's uh let's see if we can do something about that, okay? Do a lip trick on there. And off comes one. Oh, it didn't make it down the second set of stairs. That can roll for quite a while. And it's amusing, to me at least. Let's do a spine transfer over the stairs to get the State House stair spine. Turn around and do a lip trick on this statue. And off comes that one. And that one didn't go very far either. So that's two out of three statues. The third one is down there in the Boston Common. It's the guy on the horse and we will get to him a little bit later. For now though, we need to get Ben Franklin, or at least a Ben Franklin impersonator. Once again, um, no historical figures being displaced in time here. Time travel in a Tony Hawk game is just silly and ridiculous, and I am certainly not foreshadowing anything at all. But it's showing a picture of the State House, and the tip is we need to go inside a building to find him. So we will smash our way in through a window, and there he is, hanging out around all these paintings. Coming for you, Ben. Yeah, you better run. You know what you did. And there we are. And again, we could switch over to him and get a new Excuse list of objectives, me. but I am not ready to do that just yet. We've still got things that we want to do as Shred. I right, get more gaps. We're going to go back up onto this rail, but this time we're going to grind it and hopefully grind it with enough speed that we can jump off and land on the front of the church. Oop. I jumped a little too late. It does curve around at the end there, but the problem is we do want to jump really late, so it's all in the timing. There we are. Just barely made it. Over here on the other side, we'll drop off next to the apartment building. And there's another spat tag for us. Run back to the state house, and we're going to do another grind on this rail, but this time we are going to follow the curb all the way around. Jump off at the end with a sticker slap, and get high slap on the way back. Next up on our gap list is a twofer. We've got this planter here next to the church and a ledge above it. So we're going to pop up 
and land in a grind on the ledge, and then we are going to keep that grind going all along this power line. And this is very difficult to do. So I'm going to go ahead and use focus just to make sure I can safely make it to the end here. It is quite a journey, and there are ups and downs and turns, and it's very easy just to take one turn wrong and too fast, and your balance will just get all screwed up. But yeah, we got Boston by a wire, and we're here in front of the hospital, just right down the street from where we started. Let's go ahead and take a look at this over hey, here. You. Another person wants to talk to us. Man, they put grind blockers all over this thing. Go find something with enough power to grind them off. Since this is over not here. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, we cannot simply grind Man. the grind blockers off of the ledge. We actually do need something stronger, like a ridiculous motorized Segway, for example. So we will get to that later. And over here behind this construction fence is another person and a spat tag. We will get to them in a roundabout way by getting on top of these ventilation fans and doing ourselves a little jump. Get the big dig, big air, which shoots us out right over here. Yo! Look at that crap, spat. Someone should do us a favor and tag over his stuff. Beautiful. Um, yeah, since we're here, I'm gonna do one other little thing. Just slap the porta potty and knock it over. This isn't for any reason other than to show you guys some lovingly rendered poo stink. That's all this is for. Head on out of here, and there's Bob Burnquist. Once again, we are not switching over. But just remember he's there. We're going to do a wall ride on this mural to get the mural ride. We're going to turn around and do a lip trick on this fence to get the fence lip. And now we are going to just take a little moment here. All right. So we have the revolving door into the library, and we need to do a manual into that door. Sometimes it does not want to cooperate. But this time it did. Hooray. And we get the library manual for doing a manual through the library. Now we are back at the hospital. And this time we are going to pop ourselves up from one of these lower quarter pipes to a quarter pipe above. We get the hospital transfer. Here is yet another spat tag. Now we're looking at this blue rail above us here. We're going to grind that in the direction of the library jump off and grind the roof for reading is fun and you know what everybody reading is fun so go ahead and tell me what you are reading go leave me a comment tell me what you're reading okay i'm actually reading a book about retro horror video games from the nes super nes and genesis era it's quite good it's put out by the hardcore gaming people once again, we are going to take a moment for ourselves. All right. Uh, these manual-based gaps can be a little finicky because you are manualing into a place and transitioning. And sometimes it just does not know how to handle that. So you can get bumped by the revolving door over there, and that'll cancel out your manual. And for this, you can just drop out of the air instead of following the ramp. Once again, luck is on our side. We get the subway manual for manualing from ramp to ramp. Let's go ahead and do a sticker slap over the, the rails there. Get flirting with disaster. Make sure there are no trains coming when you do that. Hop on out of here. And we are going back to the, uh, the hospital. Going back up. And now we are going to do a grind on the side of this tea house. Can't see it too well because it's dark now. But there's a wire that connects the tea house to the apartment buildings. So we're going to keep grinding. 
and we get the wire transfer. Now remember this place, because we will be visiting it once again much later on in this level. So just remember this is here. And remember that there is a building behind this one, the church roof. And one below it, the library roof. But for now, we are going to do a spine transfer from this roof down to the library. And we're going to aim for the plywood ramp to launch us across the street into the construction zone there. And we get street crossing for that. Roof spine and street crossing. Alright, so far, so good. Oh, almost forgot something. Once again, we're going to take yet another moment for ourselves. Alright, what we're looking at here is a dumpster in the alley. And we're going to use that to pop ourselves up into a grind on the ledge above. That will get us dumpster up. Carry that grind all the way around to the side here towards this adorable church sign. And if we have enough speed in our grind, we will be able to jump at the end of the ledge and do a sticker slap on that sign. Now, if you can't do it that way, you can aim for the higher ledge. There are two ledges here that you can grind on the apartment buildings. And that should give you a better starting point you're starting higher up, so it's a lot easier to get the distance and make sure you hit that sign. But, if you pop up off of the dumpster and land in the grind on the higher ledge, you will not get dumpster up. Has to be a grind on the lower ledge. There is a little bit of a way around that. If you do pop up, land in a grind on the high ledge, hit a sticker slap on this sign, and you come back and land in a grind on the lower ledge, then you will get dumpster up. So we are just going to take a moment here, and we will see exactly how everything comes together for us. There we go. I also forgot that you could do a wall ride there at the end just to help you clear that distance. So that worked. Uh, took a few tries there before I remembered, oh, I could just do this. But yeah, all right, so that's done. Now we will go back to the hospital yet again, and let's go see this dead kid. Unblinking, unmoving, unbreathing. We're gonna steal him. Hey, hey. We're gonna bring him over to Tony Hawk. And he will be resurrected. You just gotta avoid these doctors or orderlies or what have you. I'm calling the cops. Hey, he still needs surgery. There we are. Now I feel much better. I think I'll go skate. As I said before, wizards are canon in the Tony Hawk universe. Tony would obviously be a wizard himself. I am torn between a priest and a cleric. I th I'm leaning more towards cleric, though, because he is a very physical person. So go ahead and you, you tell me in the comments what kind of wizard he is. He is definitely not a necromancer, though, for reasons that you will find out later on in the game. Um, but yeah, also, somebody suggested to me that Mike V might not be an illusionist, but a conjurer. So, once again, tell me in the comments what kind of wizard he is. Heading back over this way, we're going to grind on this ledge here, and jump and land and grind on the other ledge, across the entrance to the Boston Common to get ledge hop. And now we're going to dance, sucka. In the past couple Tony Hawk games, they introduced this mission where you're given tricks listed on screen and you have to do them and somebody decided that wasn't boring enough so now we have to do them on beat also you are now thinking of Aerosmith's Walk This Way yeah think about it 
We're gonna jump down these stairs to get the Boston Common stairs. We're gonna go ahead and grind the edge of this planter, hopefully, fingers crossed. Jump from planter to planter. And let's head over here to the brownstone apartments and do the rest of our things. You only have to do 10 flip tricks. And there we are. You may have heard a little bit of a beeping there. Um, even though there is no visible timer on screen, some of these missions are in fact timed. I did cut it a little close there. Once you run out of time, the, that beeping starts and I think it's 10 seconds left. And it does. So, yeah, cut it a little close there, but we managed all right. Over in the right apartment here with the big windows, you can see somebody doing a little little dancing. Looks like he might be dancing for someone or something sitting in a chair in front of him. You should already know what that is. But what about this other apartment? Hmm... Star Wars kid, everybody. Time capsule. Now we're going to do a spine transfer through the apartment. Actually, I'm going to start up here. Make sure I can clear it. Oh, that's a big jump. There we are. We got the apartment spine for doing a spine transfer there. Finally at the third statue from ever so long ago. And the way I like to take care of the this head on here is to do a new move introduced called the Nodis Spin, named after Lithuanian skater Nodis Kaupis. Uh, you may remember the term, the Nada Spin, from our stats here, where we have to do five of them in one combo. Remember that for later. But we're just going to do one at the moment, and you need to find something that comes to a point, or a head, if you will. And you approach it, and you press the grind button and one of the turn buttons, in this case L1 or R1. If you use the D-pad or analog stick, it will not work. You have to use one of the buttons meant for rotation. So I'm just going to do a little bit of jump in here, and there we are. Off with his head. Let me see if I've forgotten anything up to this point. Oh, yes. Mark your territory. We do have the final spat tag right over here. And there we are. That is now done. We've done everything we are going to be doing with Shred at the moment. So let's go and switch over to Benny Franco. Hey! I'll invent a move called the Franklin. This unlocks a new special trick slot for our skater, and it does come pre-equipped with the Franklin grind. We'll show that off. And he does get some objectives here. I think four of them. Now, a person on a skateboard is a person on a skateboard, is a person on a skateboard. And that means that most missions can be interchangeable. I could now switch back to Shred and do the missions that we just unlocked. But I figure we might as well just stick with Ben Franklin for this. There's now a person down there who wants to talk to us. We're not going to talk to him. We're just going to do what he tells us that we should do. And that is start the Liberty Trail by doing a pop shove it down these stairs. Now they want us to do a vert transfer over a library mural. There are in fact two library murals and if one doesn't work out for you so well you could try over here. A little bit wider of a landing. Find transfer into the boat for the tea party transfer. Now climb up this crow's nest 
and we'll do an acid drop. And this is also, also a time mission. While we're here on the boat, we need to get 40,000 points in a combo. So that is now done. Let us launch ourselves out of here. And now we have what is called a team challenge. And a team challenge actually needs to be done with each skater. In this case, do a kickflip over this rollerblader here that I have now killed. Um, actually doing a kickflip over him, it doesn't always register. But if you knock him down, you will get blader hops all day as you dance on his corpse. So there we are. We will have to do the same thing with Bob and then Shred. Uh, I think that's it for down here. Now we'll head up here for the last mission. And along the way, let's get a couple more gaps. We're going to jump from one blue rail to the other. And then this one, it's very short, and it has this little kink at the end. Very little. We want to pop ourselves up and land in a grind on top of the bus stop. Oh, just like that guy did. Before he disappeared. Wizards, everybody. Wizards everywhere. <sighs> if I don't get these all in one go, it is significantly easier just to separate them. There we are. It's uh, easier to get the timing right for jumping off of that second rail if you just do it by itself. We've got this picture of Tony, and we've got some recessed quarter pipes on either side. We're going to go ahead and transfer from one to the other for the TH transfer. wonder what TH stands for. Just one of life's mysteries, I guess. And now we have something that we are once again going to take a moment for. All right. We're looking at this high ledge. And we want to grind that high ledge towards the tea house. And we want to jump off and land in a grind on the kettle. That will pop us over towards this light post. And we want to just kiss the top of the light post. Either with a little grind or not a spin. And this is very, very difficult to do consistently. First, you need to gauge when to jump off of this ledge based on your speed. Then you need to land on this tea kettle with just a little kiss of the rail. And then you need to get onto that light post by getting launched off of the kettle. But sometimes it will launch you just a hair too high and you will miss the ability to do a grind. So even if you do get everything right, sometimes the game will just say, no, no, you didn't. So, that's fun. Alright, there we are. That, uh, actually did not take too many tries, so that's good. That's lucky. So all we have to do now is get Ben into the rib-off bank. And we've got this quarter pipe right ahead of us. Launch ourselves up and land inside for the bank transfer. Getting a text time from BAM. What do you get when you blast a fire hose at a bunch of drunks through an electric fence? <sighs> I'm gonna say 13 to 15 years and then another 10 on probation. BAM just don't. Okay? Just don't. While we're here in this little hallway here, let's just gently smash this window so you can see. We've got this closed off subway entrance slash exit. And we want to jump out of this hallway and acid drop onto the far end here of that, I guess you'd call it a spine. So just kind of line yourself up with the wall there, acid drop at the right time, and get yourself bank drop. So yeah, all we have left to do is the team challenge, which will require us to switch characters. 
that's going to do it for this episode. Let's just finish it off by showing off that, uh, that special. This is the Franklin Grind. It's very loud and noisy and flashy, and I'm probably not going to use it very much because of that. There we go. That's going to do it. Next time, we will switch over to Bob and do his missions. Finally, switch over to Jesse, do his missions, and then clean house with Shred. Okay? Okay. So, I will see you all next time. Love ya. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.